Well, how can we help you, sir? I call this girl up online, and we text back and forth for a bit. Got along, you know, by chat or texting and what have you, and uh, we decided to meet up for dinner. And so we go to dinner. Everything was good as far as I, I understood. So after dinner, uh, I brought her home. She invited me up to her place, yeah. and we we hooked up a little. Some some heavy petting, uh, to, but nothing. Heavy it, petting? What are you? It is. We're, we're all adults here. How old are we? Hey, hey old school, old school. We didn't have sex. Yeah, again, we're, we're adults here. Yeah, so, you know, yeah, you, you messed around a little bit. And we messed around a little bit, but it didn't stay over because I didn't want to make it seem like I just wanted to. To bang. Right. Uh, hopefully it's not bad, but again, like I don't know. I'm I'm I, I'm out to launch here. I have no clue as to what why you know why she's not getting back to me. Okay, well it could be you have a very um how could I say this? You you don't sound like a confident man, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You sound like you're right. second you you sound like you suffer from analysis paralysis. <laughs> analysis paralysis right. that's that's new. That's I'm new. just saying like I mean, did you like maybe she wanted you to be a little more, you know confident maybe she wanted you to be like hey you know what i'm staying over tonight and i'm going to blow your back out ma'am <laughs> i mean look i'd be willing and able to do that the only problem is is like if i so to speak pull that trigger that might be it and she might be turned off for good but obviously i don't know i mean right she, she brings, brings, it brings me back to analysis paralysis so did you do anything stupid during the date I mean, like, the only thing I can kind of think of is, like, I, like, knocked over a water during dinner, but I didn't think that would be, like, a deal breaker, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's not a big deal. Just... Okay, Will, we're going to call her, and let's see if we can get you another date. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I feel like, <laughs> Will, how old are you? 28. 28, okay. Do you still live with your mom? I do not. But we'll give her a call for you right now. Stay quiet, okay? All right, all right. Hello? Hi, is this Jessica? Yeah, this is. Uh, Jessica, uh, so my name is Romero, and I'm here with Pebbles and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. Can I explain to you really quick while we're calling you? Um, Sure. Um, Actually, I have like one minute. I have to jump into a meeting, and I cannot be late, so... Hurry up, Ramiro. Go. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll make this very, very quickly. Basically, we, we got your phone number from a guy that wanted us to reach out to you because he wants to ask you out on a date, and we'll tell you who the guy is. And if you say yes to the date, we'll pay for the date. We'll, you know, you tell us where you want to go. We'll set the whole thing up, reserve it, all that stuff. Uh, I'm nervous right now. And can I just tell you the guy's name? It's a guy who wanted us to call you on his behalf. Yeah, please tell me which one. Okay, which, wow. Okay, Will. Oh. What was that? Will, William, Bill, Billy. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pardon my French here, but that dude, you can get in this message like he can go f*** himself, okay? Whoa, 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 f- Will's on the phone right now. Wow. He heard you say that. Hold on a second. My work phone is ringing, but they can wait because I need to take this opportunity right now to tell you that you can go f- yourself, okay? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so aggressive. What the f- <laughs> I have to, This has been building for me, dude. And come on, but you're going to sit here and act like you don't know what you did. Well, well, I, hold I, on. I, what did he do? He basically shaved all of my dog's body hair off and gave him a reverse mohawk. Wait, he, he gave your dog a reverse mohawk? And shaved all of your dog's body hair off? Yes. Why what? did he Those shave your dog? dog? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Will, you're a dog groomer? I'm not a dog groomer per se, okay? I work oh, at a dog groomer. I am the phone that makes point. <laughs> Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Uh, Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. Oh, really? my God. Yes. That is not what you said at all. You lied no, about no. that, too. I did not lie about that. I said I worked at a dog groomer. I did not lie. You never asked, like, am I an actual dog groomer? Wait, let me ask you a question. <laughs> hold on. Have you ever picked up a pair of clippers or, like, shampoo, like, anything that would involve washing an animal? I mean, yes, I've picked up, like, clippers and stuff like that. I mean, I've got to, I've got to set them up for the other groomers and stuff uh, like that. Okay, like, when I'm so that's them, a no. Like that. <laughs> I didn't think but, it could possibly get any worse, but apparently it does. Mm. 
Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? First off, you don't brush your dog's hair. Even I know you need to do that. Your dog's hair is matted beyond all belief. That's terrible for a dog. That's a lie. And, and, fuck you. You know, you're trying to put this on me. Wait, hold on. Wait, I don't understand. If you're not a groomer, why you didn't let somebody else, you know, take care of Jessica's dog? Hmm. Because all the other groomers were booked. I, trust me, I tried to get her in on one of the groomers. But at the same time, too, I just figured, look, I've been there for six years. I can do this. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I can, I can six years? You're 35. Like, what are you going to do oh, for life? Oh, come on. Okay, first off, I am 28, not 35. So go f*** yourself on that. Second, I'm looking to open my own place, and I can do administrative work in the back. I don't need to be the dog groomer who actually grooms, okay? You do realize people, like, work in the back and run an entire business without being the, you know, the, on the floor. Look, you ruined my dog. That's really all I give a shit about. He's been you so ruined your dog. Wait, hold on a second, guys. So you said he, he shaved your dog's body and left the head. Oh, no, and gave it a reverse mohawk. What kind of a dog do you have? I've got a chow chow. <gasps> Love mm-hmm. Chow Chows. They're very well. They're very furry. That's they're, the thing. They're very cute when they're when they have hair. Yeah, without <laughs> hair, it might be a little scary. Well, why didn't you think the job you did on her dog was the reason that she didn't want to see you again? Honestly, because I didn't think I f***ed up. I didn't. I didn't think. I thought the dog looked good. <laughs> I mean, it really? wasn't a big deal. I thought it was like a f***ing lollipop. <laughs> Oh, my yeah, God. But, Can you text us okay. a picture of the dog? <laughs> well, I'll send it to you, but please don't phone post it anywhere because I don't want anyone else making fun of him. He looks so weird right now. Oh, man. That's when you know it's bad when somebody <laughs> doesn't want their dog posted on social media. All right. Uh, so is, is that yes to another date, Jessica? <laughs> Sounds Come like on, you guys can work this out. No, f*** this dude. Come on, Jessica, don't be like that. I'm going to go ahead and go into my work meeting now. This is getting me nowhere, so I'm going to go ahead and hang up. Okay. You need to brush your dog. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) I can do it for you.